Song didn't last as long as I thought. Hang on a minute. La 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 la. Hello, hello. It's Skittle Dubs. Where's my? Is it that one? No. I thought it was that one. Oh, it's that one. It is that one. There we go. And we're back. Everything should be working perfectly. And my camera's there. Brilliant. So, yeah, technical difficulties, as always, last night. Um, it was a late stream last night, and now I'm having an early stream to compensate. Um, so that's kind of messed me up. But, yeah, I'm playing Dreamfall uh, The Longest Journey, which is one of my favorite, like, old-school games. I need to sit in frame. That would help. And um, my screen switch to software was giving me grief. I didn't realize that that was the thing that was causing me trouble. And I just sat there, and I was... Getting very frustrated. Why won't it work? It's worked before. What is going on? And I was thinking about what's changed. What's changed from the last time I did this? And I was like, I didn't have my screen so switch the software last time. What if I just close that and start again? Bing! It all worked perfectly. I was like, oh my god! Now I know. Now I know. So if it ever happens again with another game, I know to close that. And that's probably causing the problems. So yeah, this is how we learn. Learn from our mistakes. I just wish I hadn't hit the stream button before I started making those mistakes, but there you go. So yeah, um, if you didn't catch yesterday's, this might confuse you a little bit, but part one is on YouTube if you did want to go and watch that. Basically, what's happening is we are a girl called Zoe. who's a whinging... This is Zoe. Uh, she's a whinging little... I don't want to say the B word, but she is a bit of a bitch. Um, and um, yeah, she's always complaining and she's not doing anything with her life. She doesn't have a job. She's a lazy bum, basically. Went on a bit of an adventure in her life. Anyway, she meets up with her ex-boyfriend, invites him to a party, and he turns out to be a journalist. And he asks her to do a favor for her to go and pick up some package. And then he's gone missing. Uh, so she's looking for him, basically, and she thinks that he's uncovered some deep, dark secret in his journalistic work, because it all seems to be linked. So, we've come to Newport, which is where we left things last night, to see if we can find out information about where Reza, her ex-boyfriend, the journalist, has disappeared to. I'm just going to turn that game down a little bit. And we met a very interesting Chinese salesman as well. So, here we go. 
I think actually I'm going the wrong way. Oh, that's interesting. Oh no. No, that, is that right? Yeah, that's No, that's not right. Hang on. I changed this and it's changed it back. It never remembers this for some reason. Right, in order to get inverted... This is such an old game. In order to get inverted movement, I have to push forward. And then when it tells me to push left, I push right. And then we trick it, you see. And then... Yay, then we can actually... Because the controls are really bad. Basically, it only works on an ancient controller. doesn't like my Xbox One controller. And there's no, like... She literally only goes up, left, right, and down. She's got four directions. So the analog stick causes it to, like, walk into walls and things. So, yeah, it's a little bit tricky, but... um. We're getting there. We are getting there. But yeah, the reason I want to play this as well is there's a newer version out, which I've also played, but I want to stream that game real bad. Um, and I like this game as well, so I was like, well, it makes sense to stream the prequel sort of thing, the previous version before the, I stream the sequel. So let's see. So this is new part. Frame rate's a little jittery for some reason. Yeah, why is that? It's been fat up till now. Ah, there's nothing down here. This looks like something right over here. <laughs> What's this? Nothing. There's a door here. I'm guessing that's the front entrance to the Victory Hotel. Not very inviting, is it? Oh, I just realized. I wondered why. See, I figured out a better thing to do. Hang on. I can put the game on the screen that I'm actually looking at. If I can get my mouse back. There it is. Project to screen. Nope. Project. There we go. Oh, that's much better. Now I don't have to look all the way over there and get a stiff neck, and I can actually make sure I'm in frame as well. See, so yeah, I am getting better at this whole time, but now I need to bring the game back into view, or it won't work. Right, okay. It's locked. There's a call button here. No answer. She did not press that call button. She pressed the wall, damn it. That's some funky animation right there. Okay, so I think we need to get in there at some point. Can't do anything here. Hmm. Well, where the frick? Oh, hang on. What's this over here? I remember this now. I've got to be sneaky, sneaky. All right. When I find you, Reza, I'm giving you a big hug. And then you're buying me new shoes and pants. And a very big cup of hot coffee. Yeah, she's a little uh, high maintenance, as you can tell. Yeah, okay, we've got a ladder. Let's check this out. Oh, it's wanting me to actually climb the thing, is it? Fair enough. It's a digital padlock. It looks pretty new. A digital padlock? Wow. A padlock. Okay. Hack it. Break it. Again. The padlock is not down there. Your animations are really bad. Okay. Hmm. What if we use our mobile to call... We've got a hacker friend as well. It's very convenient. We've got a hacker friend called Liv, who lives in Casablanca, where we're from. So let's try giving her a call and see if she can help with this situation. Who's this? Hey, it's me. Sweetie, are you in Newport? I just got in. It's an awful place, but I'm not here to go sightseeing. I just wanted to check in to see if you have any more information for me. Not yet. I'm working on it. Reza wasn't fooling around with the encryption. This thing is harder to crack than most corporate networks. All right. I guess I'll try and find out where and what the fringe is and see if I can find Charlie there. You do that, sweetie. I'll call you as soon as I have something for you. Thanks. Bye, Liv. Good luck. Talk to you soon. See, 
she gave us it like a hacking software thing. My most treasured possession. Okay, so we can't hack it with our phone. Um, so that's interesting. I think I remember what I have to do. Yeah, but this was back when games didn't have objectives or um, mini-maps or any such thing. So you had to use your brain. So it's amazing that I managed to get through them, really. I think I used to be smart once upon a time. I don't know what happened. I'm pretty sure I used to be smart. Well, I used to be about average, I think. Now I'm just a dumbass. I don't know what happened, man. I used to fall on my head a lot. Actually, I did. I was a kid. I used to open doors into my face, which was weird. And I used to give myself enough room, and I'd slam these doors open into my head. I used to do it all the time, not just one-offs. I have no idea why. I would never learn from that. Um, so that might be the reason why. I don't know. Okay. Can't go that way. How the hell do I get out of here? This way. Follow the lights. Into the light. Yeah, here's the bridge we went over before. A lot of backtracking in this game, just to let you know. Okay, so be aware of that. And my secret's going out as well. He's a friendly guy. Friendly? I wouldn't go that far. Hello. Ah, you're back. What you need now? Oh, come on. Could you tell me where to find the fringe again? I told you already, yes? I'm sorry, but I forgot the directions. <sighs> okay, okay. Old man happy to help pretty young girl. Again. <laughs> other side of crossroads. You follow? The other side. Got it. Find Via Milano. Go through Taro to Florence Square. The fringe is right there. Can't miss it. Okay, thanks. I can repeat if you need. Thanks. That won't be necessary. I'll find it. Okay, so I think this game... You buy something now? I think this game needs you guaranteed. to do everything. You, come by. Shut Best the hell up. Venice. I'm trying Cheap. to talk, dude. Top quality. Will you Venice. shut up? So basically, I think this... Um... Oh. I'm not sure I want to find out what's up there. I think you got to do everything in the right order. Oh, hang on, there's a tunnel here. Oh, is this where I came in? Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, this is the fringe. There we go. So if you don't do things in the right order... The fringe. We ain't getting anywhere. It's a buzzer. Yeah? Hello, is Charlie there, please? Who is this? My name's Zoe. I'm a friend of Reza. I'm looking for him. I think he might have been here. I don't know anybody named Reza. Sorry. Goodbye. Wait. He's a reporter. Goes by the name Jericho. All right. Come on in. Don't you hold out on me, boy. Don't you hold out on me. I got your name, man. I'm a sassy little bitch. I ain't taking no for an answer. Yes, can I help you? I'm looking for Charlie. He's down there past the bar. Thank you. This what shady happened? looking motherfucker. You mean this shady looking motherfucker? Yo, Charlie. Better give me the DL, man. DL? Give me the skinny man. That must be Charlie. No shit. Excuse me. Are you Charlie? Yeah. Zoe, right? You said you're a friend of Jericho's? That's right. Has he been here? How do you know Jericho? We go way back. If you're such good friends, why do you need to track him down? Can't you just call him? It's a long story. Jericho's investigating a story and he's gone subterranean. His mobile's off. He may be in danger. I need to find him. Look, Charlie, he left me a message with your name in it. It's the only clue I have to go on. All right. I believe you. I spoke with Jericho a couple of days ago. He called me, asked me some questions. I answered them. That's all. I really didn't want to get mixed up in anything. I have a business to run, and my customers don't like publicity. Sorry, girl. I wish I could help, but that's everything I know. I don't believe you, goddammit. Okay. 
We can plead. Charlie must know more than what he's letting on. We can bargain. I'm sure he knows more than what he's letting on. Or we can threaten. He's had something, I know it. Well, I'm a sassy little bitch anyway. Let's go with the nuclear option. Jericho has powerful connections. If I tell them you refuse to help me, they won't be very happy. Damn. If I didn't know any better, and if I thought you were stupid enough to pull that kind of shit in here, I'd say you were threatening me. You're right. I'm just warning you. If you know something, you'd better tell me. Or else what? You sue me? You torch my club? You sick the corpse on me? The eye? You don't think I have powerful connections, girl? Do you have any idea who comes into this place? The people I mingle with? The next time you come into my place and threaten me, I'll have you thrown out. This time, I'm just going to ask you to leave. Oh, shit. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. I can apologize. Might be the best option. I could keep on keeping on. I don't know. Hmm. I don't think we're getting anywhere with the strong arm tactics, so I'm just going to go right ahead and say, I'm sorry. Please don't. Oh, look, Charlie, I'm sorry, but I'm desperate. I've travelled halfway around the world to find my friend, and you're the only lead I've got. My advice to you, girl, is never threaten someone unless you're ready to follow through on the threat. In your case, that means never threaten anyone. Ever. But I understand desperation. Ooh. I've been there. Your friend Jericho, he was here last night. He wanted to meet face to face. He told me some things shouldn't cross the wire. He wanted some information about a place I used to live in called the Border House. The Border House? It was a boarding house for students, run by an English lady, Fiona. That's where Jericho got my name from. The place has been turned into a hotel now. The Victory Hotel. <gasps> Shady place. That's where we were. Jericho wanted to know everything about the building. Entrances, exits, floor plans, the works. He didn't tell me. And I didn't ask, but my guess is he was planning to break into the place. Why? There are stories. They say the place isn't really a hotel, but some kind of front for... I don't know. And I don't want to know. Like I said, there are stories. What kind of stories? Look, I get all sorts in here. I hear things. But if I start shooting my mouth off, I get burned. I lose my customers. I lose my business. Hell, with some of the people that come in here to party, I could lose a lot more than that. So don't get me wrong. I would love to help you. But like I told your friend, I can't say much more than that. I understand. So Jericho was interested in the layout of that place. What did you call it? The Border House. The Victory Hotel. Yeah. I told him there are canals running underneath the building and that there's a backyard. Since they drain the water... You can use the canals to get around. There might be a way into the building from the back. I already found and it, dude. Jericho, he went there last night. I honestly couldn't tell you, girl. We spoke, he left, haven't heard from him since. Okay, well, I guess that's a start. Victory Hotel. Hmm, I don't know if I trust this dude. Uh, I need to find Victory Hotel. I'd like to know more about the fringe. Nah, I'm good. Thanks, Charlie. I appreciate all your help. You welcome, girl. Let me know if you find your friend, all right? What a nice guy. What a nice guy. Coming here and smashing, threatening to smash his face in. He's just like, it's all good, girl. Bonsai tree. I like that whole Japanese theme they've got going on here. Me too. Me too. In fact, you'll see a Japanese theme behind me. Alright, so we gotta go all the way back, because again, backtracking. Yeah, what I was gonna try and do... <laughs> this analog stick is really messing up my character movement. So, I could use input mapper and map the D-pad to the directions. Yeah, but... At the moment they just sort of bring up your inventory and stuff, but I could remap those. But I didn't wake up early enough. I only just woke up and I have plans for the day, so I don't really have time to do that. So I'll have to make do. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? 
You see that? Running up the walls? The hell was that? Spider cat? Right, where was we going again? This way? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this way. There we go. Um, hmm. Because now we know we need to get in there. I mean, maybe because we already checked that place out, maybe we could have just gone straight to the Chinese guy, but it looks like this game wants you to do things in the right order. Otherwise... It says no dice. <laughs> Actually, I think she's supposed to be grabbing the gate. I don't know. A back door. That's probably where Ressa got in. You're not bothered by that goddamn blood stain. A padlock. Alright, what if we try and use our phone now? Yes? Hey, it's me. I found out where Reza was last night. A place called the Victory Hotel. But I need your help. Sure. What do you need? Don't freak out. I need to disable a padlock. I won't ask. What does it look like? Black, nondescript, blue light, a small display, your standard padlock. No keypad, so I'm guessing it only works with a key. Can I hack it? Sorry, sweetie. Those things aren't usually wired. They operate on short-range frequencies. You need to get close, and you need a lockpick. What kind of lockpick? Anything reasonably modern should be able to take care of it, unless it's really heavy-duty stuff. I don't think it is. It's just a padlock on a fence. Any lockpick will do, as long as it's got multiple frequencies and a universal interface. Most do. I'll try and find one. Thanks, Liv. I know, just the man. Just the man. So I think our little Chinese guy is going to help out. I think, uh, I mean, this game was kind of uh, ahead of its time, I think, though, considering how old it is. I'd never played a an adventure game that was 3D like this before. Um, and my favorite type of games when I was a kid was point-and-click adventure games because they were so heavy on characters and narrative. And um, it took a while for games like this to come out. And really, the only thing that's come close was Telltale, but with Telltale, you don't get to move around and do stuff like this. And really, there hasn't been a game like this, not that I've played anywhere, since Life is Strange. And now there's the Council. So it looks like that genre may be starting to get a little bit of life breathed back into it. There was obviously Broken Age as well, although Broken Age wasn't 3D like this. But I just like it. I think, I think putting adventure games in the 3D space... It's great. I love this. This is me in my element right now. Hi. Surprise, surprise. She's back. So you need something? I need a goddamn motherfucking lockpick. I need to pick a padlock. Ooh. Very exciting. Breaking into private property. Very good. Very good. <laughs> no explanation needed. I'm not tearing anyone. But sorry. Can't help you. Also out of lockpicks. I thought you said you can provide anything, except for drugs. Ha! You very funny girl! I like you! Okay, okay. I might have something in stock for you. It's refurbished, but good as new. Mm. In fact, better than new. Can pick most locks made in past 15 years. I'll take it. How much? Way, way. May look like charitable old fool, but this not cheap. Only one I got. You good customer, but lockpick more valuable than money in Venice. This is some kind of like crime haven, isn't it? Really, by the sounds of it. 
So I could either desperately plead, please, please give me that luck, big. I could be angry. Hmm. Either way, I think he's going to try and rip us off. Let's try and show a bit of backbone. So you have something in stock, but you don't want to sell it to me. Thanks for nothing. Not so fast. I like you. You got spirit. I want to help. Maybe we can make trade? I don't have anything to trade. All I have is my mobile. No mobile. I got too many already. Cheap. Made in China. Top quality. So what do you want to trade? Please, help me out here. Mobile not very interesting. But my customers, they paranoid. They like to be invisible. If I could make mobiles invisible... Like some kind of cloak for mobiles? Yes, yes. That could be worth a lot to me. Definitely worth trading away last lockpick. I think I know exactly who to call. And it ain't the Ghostbusters. Yeah, so you thought to, to plead sleeps. Well, it's too late now. Sorry, dude. Zoe, is that you? Did you find the lockpick? Sort of, but I need your help. Sure, sweetie. What do you need? I'm trying to buy a lockpick from this merchant, but he doesn't want money. He wants software. I got software. What does he want? Remember that cloak you gave me? Could I get a copy of that which would work on other mobiles? Not the same one. I wouldn't give that to just anyone. But I have another software cloak. It's not as powerful as yours, but it's good stuff. I'm sending it to you as we speak. I'm sure he'll be ready to do business when he sees this thing. It's pretty neat. I got it. Thanks, Liv. You're the best. That was quick. You're not wrong, sweetie. Good luck, okay? I'll talk to you soon. Wow, they must have really fast internet in the future. She got that, like, instantly. Okay, I'm not gonna question anything in this game. I'm having too much fun. So let's see. Uh, how do we give him it? We don't do it that way. Maybe I just need to speak to him. Ah, how do I cancel that? There we go. Speak to him. You back already? Got something to trade? Something good? I've got just what you need. It's a small program for your mobile. For any mobile. It disguises the phone and makes it hard for the eye in the sky to track it. Interesting. Something like that is very hard to find. Show me. I got connections. I'll transfer it over. I got some connections, boy. You don't want to mess with me. Very nice. Very nice. This is some good stuff. Where you get this? I never seen nothing like this before. This will make my customers very happy. Good. Good. So we have a deal? Yes, yes, we have a deal. Here is lockpick for you. Pleased to do business. Very pleased. Yes. All right. Hey, you. Come here. We got you, a lockpick. Come by. Best store in Venice. Lock Cheap. Top quality. Made in China. Lockpick. That's all you got to say about the lockpick? Come on, man. Don't you know one of the best things about an adventure game is looking at all the items in your inventory and hearing funny little things about them? Picking up the law. Hearing little jokes. I'm going the wrong goddamn way. That's not the way. Oops. Okay. There's a... Where am I going? Where... Where am I going? There was a... Oh, there's the bridge. Jeez. Yikes. This is what happens when you take away my minimap from me. I get all turned around. I don't know where the hell I'm going. Alright. I'm starting to get used to this now. We go down here and we take a left. Wee. Alright. And then it's a right. Oh. And then we jump down here. This game, I mean, I think this game still holds up, really. I mean, if this was, this is kind of like something a small indie team would release these days. And this isn't a big developer. This was like an indie developer. But this is a long time ago. What's 
So, I mean, I know it's not exactly AAA quality by today's standards, but by indie standards, it still holds up. And it was an indie developer. Ah, uh, come on, girl. You know what I want you to do. You're going to make me do it, aren't you? It's a wireless lockpick that should work with most padlocks. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Um, what the? What? Huh? What? Right, I gotta, I gotta light up. Oh my god, I'm terrible at these things. Uh oh. Okay. We need. What do we need? We need a diamond over in this wheel, and it needs to be opposite the. Yeah. So that's right for that one. There you go. That was easy. Uh, now we need a. What do I need? We need a. We need that green square. Oh, but the, hang on, that needs to be opposite that one. Okay. Going good, going good. Uh, uh oh. Um, oh no, no, we need, um, no, 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 no. Move that. Move that. Move that. Move that, move that. That, that, that. And we did it! Oh my god! I'm so smart! Alright, we can get in, finally. Right, what was sneak again? This one, okay. Oh, there's always glass on the floor whenever we need to sneak, have you noticed? Spooky music. Bloodstained door. Shit is going down. God, dog. The dog seems used to the train. Didn't even bat an eyelid, despite the racket. All right. It won't budge. The door looks very new, and there's blood all over it, and someone's handprints. God damn it! Okay, so we can't, still can't get in. Right, I think we've got to wait. <gasps> yeah, okay. I I just tested that. We got to wait for the train, otherwise the dog's gonna eat us. There's the train. Okay. Watch the broken glass. We use this as a little ramp. Can we make it? Can we make it? Hell's yeah. Hell's yeah. I, oh yeah. Now we've got something. It's an axe. Oh yeah, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I wanna cause some chaos. Do we axe the dog? <laughs> Probably not. I don't think this game's ever that violent. I need to watch out for the train though. Ah. Uh, okay. Dog's just there. Nice doggy. Good doggy. Good doggy, you stay there. Nothing going on here. Okay, can I make it? 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 Yes! Easy. It's almost like I've played this game before. Don't kill the doggo. Nah, I love dogs, man. I wouldn't kill a dog. I wouldn't even kill a cat, and I'm not really a fan of cats, but you know. No, there is, um, I don't know if you ever played uh, the la not The Last of Us, The Walking Dead, where the dog get, oh man, that really got me. Dog attacks, um, Clementine, and you have to kill it, and it was, oh my god, it really, I didn't like that. I really didn't like that. Yeah, I'm a big softie when it comes to animals. Um, except birds, I hate birds, especially seagulls. They're always stealing food off me, I hate them. Right, so, can we use the axe with the door? No. I found this axe in the garden shed. That you did. Can I use the axe with the intercom? No. Hmm.
You know what? I remember what to do. I'm well, I'm not really cheating. I'm just I'm playing this game from memory. There's a difference. Is playing a game again cheating? Not really. Do, 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 do. There's light coming through that boarded up window. Yes, there is. There's a metal bar on the side. It looks like it's connected to the wheel. Well, you best activate it. Alright. There's a metal bar on the side. It must have been left behind after a construction job. Right. Come on. Right. Two. This window probably leads into the hotel basement. Okay. We need to push it. Add a girl. Axe on the blood door. <gasps> oh yeah. You know what? I I probably should have tried that if I hadn't played this game before, but um I have played this game before, so I actually remember this bit. I've forgotten most of this game, but I do remember this bit. Probably because I struggled with it. I think you remember the bits you struggle with. This window probably leads into the hotel basement. But yeah, I probably tried that the first Oops. time I played this game. I dropped the axe inside. Oops. This window probably leads into the hotel basement. Okay, in we go. Spooky hotel basement. Say it with me. It's just a bunch of filthy rags. You filthy rag. Okay, we now have a filthy rag. It's a rusty old can. Sniffing. There's nothing in this one. It's empty. Sniffing mechanics. I love it. It's a it. metal can. Let's play it smells Sniff like the Can. Petrol. Sniff the can. It's a new game for all the family. There's nothing in this one. It's empty. So the only one that has petrol in it is this one. So I'm going to guess that we soak the rag in petrol. And I would be wrong. Hmm. So I don't remember everything. I don't smell anything. But there's definitely something inside. Water, maybe. Okay, so the red can's the one with the petrol in it. There's my... It's the broken handle from the axe. Ah, wait a minute. Right, yeah. Because if we try and go in here, it's a little bit dark. Can't see a goddamn thing. This is like my stream last night. This was this is my stream last night. Why won't it work? Why won't it work? Why won't it work? I can laugh about it now. Um, okay. Ah. So, how about we use the rag? Hang on. Axe handle with rag to make a torch. And now the torch in the petrol. All right. And then we've got a pilot light. I don't know what that's for. Yeah, you do. It's a pilot light. Idiot. Everybody knows what a pilot light is. Use your torch with the pilot light. Hells yeah. And now, hoo -hoo, we can see what we're doing. It's beautiful. It's oh so beautiful. Um, it's dark in here though. Maybe a little too dark. Yeah. Blood. Alright, and magically my rag on a stick seems to have just completely vanished into thin air. Solid. I don't think it's possible to break through this one. It looks brand new too. 
like it's been installed recently. Right, I do remember this door. I remember this door because it took me a very long time to get past it and I could not do it. But I don't remember how I did it. <laughs> so we may have the same problem again. My god, that's Reza's lighter. All right, let's look at it. Zoe. That girl, is she here? Oh, yeah. Find April Ryan. Save her. Yeah, we keep getting these visions through TV screens as well. Find April Ryan. Save her. She... She just vanished. The screen said 201. That must be the room number. I think... I think she wants me to go open that closet in room 201. Is that what brought Reza here? Maybe, girl, maybe. Alright, look at the lighter. Reza's lighter. There's blood on it. Okay, so we've got a lighter, we've got a lockpick, we've got a mobile phone with hacking software on it. Let's think about this logically. It's some sort of security system. Looks like it controls the building's surveillance cameras. All right, when I use it, this is what happens. We just see two different camera views. What's the point of having cameras there when there's nothing to look at? Oh my god, I hope that pizza's cold. Gone, so no one's coming back. We in big trouble. Breaking and entering. Bit of B&E. Bit of goddamn B&E. This is where people realize that none of this is happening and she's in a mental hospital. Oh my god, wouldn't that be a cool twist? Um, okay, so let's try the hacking software on the security center. I'm pretty sure this doesn't work. Oh, oh, maybe it does. Right, I gotta be quick. I gotta be quick. I'm not very good at these. Um, I don't see it. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. And uh, I've got an itchy face. Why have I got an itchy face right now? I need both hands. I can't scratch it. Why would I get an itchy face right now? Okay, um. There it is. Ah! Okay, and um. I don't see that one. There it is, there it is. Oh! And one more, one more, one more. There it is. Oh no, it's the wrong way around. Uh, and, um. Uh, they keep changing. What? There it is. There it is. Oh man, I just found it as well. I just found it. Ah, I hit you. Okay, let's try it again. Quick, quick, quick. Uh, line two circles down. A square circle in the middle. That one. Um, triangle two circles. Uh, two arches circle down. Triangle two circles down. Triangle, two circles. Where is it? I... I don't even see it. Where the frick is that? Oh my god, I can't see it anywhere. Oh my god, seriously. This is terrible. Right, third time. Everything happens three times in video games. Um, that one. Uh, cir circle, two lines. Arch down. That, uh, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And uh, square. Uh, one one square bit with a circle. And square in the middle. Square at the bottom. Um, at the top. And two lines. And square at the top. Th th there it is, there it is, there it is. Ah! Oh, more? Are you kidding? Um, That one. Oh my god, how many times do I have to do this? I'm terrible at this. Ah, uh, there it is. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did it! What? I remember being stuck on that for ages last time. It was that easy? Why did that take me so long the last time? I have no idea. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe I thought I was smart when I was younger and I was actually a dumbass. And now I'm just slightly less of a dumbass. 
Open. Thanks to Liv's illegal lock-defeating software. Damn straight. All right. Here goes nothing. Spooky music. <gasps> Somebody there. Man, these guys like the pizza. Nearly as much as I do. Can I eat that? Someone's rehydrating and heating a pizza. Looks like there's still a bit left on the clock before it's done. Okay. If I reprogram the timer, I can make the alarm go off almost immediately. Shit. Okay, I'll hide in the shadow. Ah, yeah. Pizza's done. Uh, okay, he won't see me here. Sneak. Sneak, 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 sneak. Sneak, 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 sneak. Sneak, 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 sneak. Alright, we good, we good. Alright. Right, what did, what room did we need? Holy shit. She's connected to one of those things I saw in Reza's apartment. What is it doing to her? What's all this equipment for? Hmm. What is that thing? They must be testing it on these people. That's probably what this place is for. Two it's or not one. a hotel. It's a laboratory. Thanks, Sleeps. Two or one. And I'm in two or two. Wow, it's next door. No, I need to focus on finding Reza. I wanted to play with the brain sucky thing. What's all this equipment for? I guess 201. Maybe it's down. 201. There it is. This is it. The room the little girl was in. Of course it's locked. Lockpick. Ah, can't use the lockpick. I can hear footsteps. <gasps> I'm not doing anything. You can't see me. You're hallucinating. It's fine. 201. Shit. She scared the shit out of me. She looks like she's in her own world. I was just thinking I can hear footsteps. And then there she was. Jesus, don't do that to me. Is that the one? <gasps> it's her. It's... She... What? Okay, how do I get in here? Uh, mobile phone? Is it a digital lock I can... Nope. Lighter? No. Okay. Um... It's not gonna be that easy. What is wrong with you, girl? She looks like she's in her own world. Uh-oh. What the hell's this guy doing? Uh, hide. Install. Hide. Can I hide? Right, I can't hide. So just hide in the shadow. Camera's glitching out on me. I can't stay in here forever though, can I? <gasps> Shit! He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He's not going to come in here. Is it a girl's bathroom? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, they move when you look aware, I think. Yeah, you might be right. Yeah, maybe. Right, let's see if he's still here. Sneaky, sneaky. Shit, he's still there. Okay. What's he doing? Is he doing anything? Will you just get out of here? Um... What's that? What was that? <gasps> Window? Oh, are you kidding me? I took the handle off. I wanted to get out of there! 
I took the handle off. That's not going to help you. Put the handle back on. Handle back on the window. Why not? Combine it with the lockpick. No. The lighter. No. The mobile phone. No. Damn. All right, maybe we can sneak past him. Doesn't seem to be any. Anyone there? Uh, no. Shit! 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 Ah! 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 He's fighting me! Don't be getting ah! aggro now. Shit! No! Oh! You leave him. No! Oh! One way or the other. No! Oh! Shit! You leave him. One way or the other. Oh shit! He was on no health as well, man. I beat his ass. But he beat mine too. Does he have the keys? I can't remember. Maybe. Can't remember that much about this bit. Oh, I'm back. Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. I think... I do remember something. Oi! Anyone there? Oi! You right there? Um, yeah, we'll just have a, a, a rational conversation with him rather than go through all that. Um, I'll pretend that I think it's really a hotel. Maybe that'll throw him off. That sounds like a good plan. I'll pretend I'm here for a job interview. I'll do the vacancies. Good afternoon. This is the Victory Hotel, right? I need a room. I'll be staying until Tuesday. Do you serve breakfast? Oh, yeah. G'day. Um, sorry, darling, but this ain't no... Uh, all right -o. yeah, the Victory Hotel. That's what the door says. Vacancies, eh? Uh... Everywhere else is fully booked, and I really need a room. Do you have anything with a bathtub? Oh, we might have something on the... Wait a minute. How'd you get in here? I didn't hear the buzzer. Or did I? Um... Let me see. What are these options, sir? Tell the truth? I'm not gonna say, yeah, I broke in here, man. I'm here to steal your shit. Um, I don't have to lie, surely. I buzzed, and someone let me in. Isn't this the reception? I like it. It's, uh... Rustic. Hmm. Could it need the bus? Maybe someone... Bloody oh, Marcus will throw a right fit. I'll be up shit creek for crying out loud. What kind of accent is that? Australian? You are Australian, mate. I like his shirt. His shirt's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't think we should... No, we don't want to do that. We don't want to piss him off. Last time he knocked our ass out. Listen, I don't want any drama. I just want a room, something with a view. Ah, yeah, a room. Uh, with us being a hotel and all. Maybe, uh, well, I don't think there's anything available at the moment. Um, I'll demand to check the room up for myself. Well, what room? He just said there isn't any rooms available. Asking for a manager. I could just be an arsy customer, I suppose. That makes the most sense. You can go ask your manager. I'll wait here. Me what? You'll wait here? I'll wait here. Righto. Well, see, there's, um, me manager? Better yet. Let me take a look around, see if this place is to my liking. I'll come right back here when I'm done. No need to bother your manager. Oh, fair dinkum. I guess that's... You'll come back here when you're done, yeah? My shouldn't take God, long. this guy's done. Ah, yeah. She'll be right. I'll just go have a... Sit down in the meantime, like. That's all I had to do! Unbelievable! That guy's dumb. If he's security, I would not want him managing my place. Jesus. Yeah, where are you going with the blowtorch and the lockpicks and the uh, the guns, mate? This is a bank, man. What you doing at that vault? I'm just here to check out uh, the air conditioning in there, dude. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hey, you wouldn't have to have a key to this thing, would you? Oh, yeah, mate. There you go. No bother. I'll turn the alarm off for you as well. Wow, this guy's amazing. I love him.
He's great. He's too busy watching. What is he watching? Football. That makes perfect sense. Okay, he just wants to watch the match. That's fine. You go ahead and watch your match. Oh yeah, we got all this again because um, we went back in time, didn't we? So we got all this to uh, look at again. She's connected to one of those things I saw in Reza's apartment. What is it doing to her? What's all this equipment for? I don't know, but I don't want to mess around. Right, so what we f what did we learn last time? We learned we can go... 201. We learned this we... This is it. We learned we can... The room the little girl was in. Yes, I know. We learned we can get the window handle. Which must be useful for something. I don't think there was anything else in here. Nope. There's some stairs here. Right, we could try... Can I look at that? It's locked. No, it's locked. I wondered if it was locked or if it was missing a handle. Let's try our lockpick then. <laughs> Can't use the lockpick. The handle? Can't use the handle. Okay. Fair enough. Nothing else up here. What's down here? Oh, another room. Wait a minute. This is when he came and kicked our ass last time. Uh oh. Um. Okay. Good scene. So I wonder what happens this time when he catches us. Because he already gave us permission to look around. Ah, there's a window on the other side. If only I had a handle for the window, <gasps> I could probably open it. I do have a handle for the window. I can hear footsteps. I'd better hurry up. Oi! Oh shit! You tricked me back there. Oh fuck! I'm not looking for a crush, you kick like shit, a I'm gonna have to knock. I'm... Oh fuck! No oh, shit! Oh my no god! Ah! Do! That's what you get trying to pull a Oh, for crying out loud! So I don't know whether I need to beat beat him up or just be quicker. I might have to beat him up, but he's quite hard to beat. Or I'm just terrible, probably. I'm just terrible. Right, but that was... So it doesn't make any difference, really, does it? I mean, either way, he's going to come and kick our ass. Hmm. It's probably, it was probably easy just to sneak past him, I think. It was Someone's quicker. rehydrating and heating a pizza. Looks like there's still a bit left on the... If I reprogram the timer, I can make the alarm go off almost immediately. So we were here. Ah, yeah. Pizza's done. Fair dinkum. Fair dinkum? What the hell does that mean? Okay. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Well, quickly but quietly. Quickly but quietly. What are you doing? Oh my god, no, not that. Oh my god. What are you doing, girl? Nice time for the control to spaz out. Right, can we skip this? Yeah, we can skip this. Okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. 2.01. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, window handle, we need. Okay. Uh, was it up? No, it wasn't up here. It was through here. And... Yeah, I think we should have enough time now. But if he catches us... Gonna be in big trouble. I can hear footsteps. Quickly. Yes! Yes! Quickly. Oh, what the hell? How? Uh. Oh, there's a ladder. I thought we were supposed to get up the other window. Oh, there's one here. 
Okay. Aren't I on the wrong floor now? Okay. Okay. Ho. Okay. Well, we didn't get killed yet, which is good. What's all this equipment for? You obsessed with equipment. What's wrong with you? <gasps> oh my god. He's almost naked. Oh, oh. oh my god! Why? Why do you all want to kill me? I haven't done anything to you. Vinny! Need some help here, man! Oh, luckily he's kind of... Oh no, not again. Can just knock him out. Come on. Oh, there we go. Wait, block, block, block. Keep blocking. He's not going to do anything. There he is. Oh, blocking doesn't even help. Well, that's some bullshit. Christ, you kick like a bloody mule. Come on. One more. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. I've got to be better at fighting. I mean... It's quite cool that it has these little, like, fighting mechanics and stuff in it as well, because you don't normally see that from an adventure game. Just wish I was a little bit better at them. Man, this game is tough. I don't remember it being this hard. But then, I remember getting stuck on some of the puzzles for longer last time, so... Right, okay. I think she started what happened. Right, we just have to not get seen by him. Because what happened is the control started spazzing out last time and she started running into the wall all by herself. Why would I want a towel? Is there anything in here? Nope. It's almost a mirror image of the other place. He's not coming in here, is he? So we need to keep an eye out for him. Okay. Is this where I came in? I think that is where I came in. Yeah, that's where I came in. I don't want to be here. Ugh, I can't see. What? Where am I going? So I do need to be this way. Probably. So he was easy to, um... <clears throat> Lockpick? He was easy to knock out. But the other guy isn't. The Australian. <gasps> oh, there he is. He's asleep. Probably leave him be. How he can sleep on that filthy sheet is beyond me. But then he doesn't look too clean himself. Probably don't want to touch him. But I kind of want to know what will happen if I do. Alright, we'll call that plan B. Three or two. Can't go in there. No key. What about this one? Three or four? Three or five? Alright, it's another window. With a handle. I hear footsteps. Oh, I know. Use the towel. With what? Lighter? Hang on, I think I remember. No, I don't. Locked. I don't get it. Right. The window opens. I've got a towel. Hang on a minute. If I had a towel and a sheet, I could probably make a little thing because she mentions the filthy sheet and he's laying on it but I'm going to have to get him to roll off the sheet oh he's gone, get it, quick just don't get seen by him quick, 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 quick quick, quick, quick quick. quick. he must have got up again, okay we're good I did hear footsteps, so tie the towel to the sheet and make a rope now use the rope Use the rope by the window, man. Why can't you use the rope by the window? Huh? Oh, man, why not? 
Use the rope with the window. It's easy. Oh, hang on. An old radiator. They probably use plasma heating elements in the rooms now. Okay, use the rope with the valve. There we go. So I was thinking along the right lines. But I didn't do it right. Whee! Alright, we're making progress. And the game's saved, that's good. Although last time... Oh no, last time we got our ass kicked, we did... We did come back to the checkpoint. <gasps> is this the room we want to be in? I think it is. I think it is. We made it. We did it. The little girl. She was pointing at that closet. What could it possibly mean? Well... That's probably going to activate a cutscene. Is there anything else of interest in this room? I don't want to go out yet. Okay, there's probably nothing else in here. It's an old videograph. Is that Charlie? That I is knew Charlie. It. And those two girls? I knew he knew more than he was letting on. Maybe this used to be Charlie's room. But why did the little girl point to his closet? What's his connection to all of this? Uh oh. Shit! What the fuck are you doing here? This is my room! Get back to. Wait. I don't know you. Who the hell are you? Um, you are a clone of the guy downstairs. You twins? Um, I don't appreciate being cursed at. Oh, I should try and calm him down. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I should be courteous, not piss him off. I'm Zoe. You a friend of Vinny's or something? I told him not to let his girls wander around. Uh, yes. I am a slut and a skank and a hooker. But you cannot pay for me because I have... Lots of STDs. Yes. Yes, I'm a friend of Vinny's. I I'm sorry, I didn't know anyone was using this room. Where the hell is he? Who? Vinny, who the fuck do you think I'm talking about? Oh, um, I don't know. Maybe he left. Jesus, if he did, I'll fire his fucking ass. He's no good to me. No good. Christ. Look, Vinny was going to help me out with some information about this guy, Reza Tamiz. To me's? Who the fuck's that? Another of Vinny's deadbeat friends? Something like that. Anyway, Vinny was going to help me out, but maybe you can help me instead. Why the fuck would I do that? Well, I was going to pay him, but if you're not interested... What? Uh, how much? 500 if you get me information about my friend. Another 500 if you find him. 1,000 wise, huh? Are you good for it? I've been burned by Vinny's friends before. Does I'm it look good. like I'm good for it? I don't judge a fucking... by its... you know, the front, something like that. Shit! Yeah, fine. So what's this asshole's name? Reza Tamiz. He's about your height, black hair, tanned, probably well-dressed. Tamiz, got it. I'll ask around, check the feeds, see if there's anything I can dig up. How do I get in touch with you? I'll be at the Fringe tonight. Yeah, right. No, really. Where do we meet? You should come back here around 10. I'll order a pizza, get a bottle of wine. Uh, no. I told you, the fringe. Look, sweetheart, there's a two-year waiting list over there. And to get on that waiting list, you need to be either very famous or very rich. And, uh, you, sweetheart, no offense, are neither. No, but I've got connections. Trust me, I'll be at the fringe, and I'll make sure your name is on the list. You're fucking kidding me, right? Right? The fringe? The fucking fringe? All oh, right. Jesus, I'm there. Jesus he Christ. Happy. If you told me earlier, I'd have helped you for free. Fuck. Excellent. All right. So we got a deal. Come on. I'll let you out the front. DNA lock. Unbreakable shit. Damn. Yeah, this place is an impenetrable fortress. What a nice guy. 
So all we had to do was mention the bloody fringe and we can get whatever the hell we want. He's got to let people know we're down with the fringe, man. It's like the ultimate bargaining chip. He's going to let me out of here. So he says he's probably going to lead me into a basement and bludgeon me to death. I'll check around, see what I can find. Now tonight, the fringe. You're not trying to con me or anything. I'm very serious. This friend of mine, he means a lot to me. Whatever. As long as I'm on the list and you got the cash. Uh, uh, wait. What was your name again? Zoe. What's yours? Don't give me a real name. Marcus. You don't have a last name? No. Do you? <laughs> You're a player, Zoe. I'll give you that. Okay, Marcus. Thanks. I'll see you later. Your dog hits this guy's voice. <laughs> Was he barking or something? <laughs> I think he's a nice dude. He just wanted to get into the hottest goddamn nightclub. I know those guys, you know. They're so desperate to uh, look cool. Do anything for that street cred, man. And that's all we had to do. Know which way to play him. Alright, so I should probably go back to the fringe. Do I? Oh, I need to speak. Maybe I should try. Let's see what happens. Oh, I can look at this now. Charlie, together with two girls. What a player. What a goddamn player. I wonder if we can phone our friend Liv, see what she's got to say about all this. Zoe? Hi, Liv. Did you find Reza? No, but I found something that belongs to him. His lighter. And there was blood on it. Sweetie, that doesn't mean a thing. Listen, I know he's alive. He accessed the wire for a brief moment last night. Just a burst of data. Really? Did you see what it was? Nope. It was encrypted to an anonymous recipient. But it was there. A sign of life. So I'm sure he's okay. Have you gotten any further with his notepad? Yes and no. I've got all the data out, and now I need to piece it all together in a coherent fashion. I've got bits and pieces. There's lots of stuff about the static, but nothing you wouldn't be able to find on the wire. Looks like he was doing research into that. That makes sense. The static would be the kind of story Reza would be interested in. I've got a lead myself. What is it? A guy. He said he'll help me find Reza. I'm meeting him tonight at the Fringe. All right. Call me as soon as you know more, okay? I'll get back to the notepad. I will. Thanks, Liv. Bye. Oh, Sleepy's dog ran when she heard that guy's voice. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> right. So, I think I gotta go back to the fringe, but I wanna talk to this guy again because he's cool. I like him. He's a friendly guy. Hello. Ah, you're back. What you need now? Thank you. Next time, you buy something. Jesus. Well, I gotta admire his uh, salesmanship. You know, he's uh. My God, he's just a kid. <laughs> well, I gotta get in the hottest nightclub in town, where everybody's impressed. Hi, it's Zoe Castillo again. May I come in? Of course. Man, I'm down with all the cool dudes. That's the hostess. Not the most welcoming person I've ever met. Oh, I did... My controller glitched again. I didn't mean to go out. Yeah? Hi, Charlie. <laughs> it's me again. Zoe. Come on in. I locked myself out. Because I'm a dumbass. All I wanted to do is talk to this... Yeah? ...bitch. The place is kind of quiet, isn't it? Look, it's a cocktail lounge, not a cafe. Right now, it's the middle of the afternoon. Things heat up around afternoon? midnight. Afternoon? And everyone stays until sunup. It's pitch black. Right. That makes sense. Is there no sun in the future? So... Have you worked here long? What are you doing? What? Why are you asking me questions? Uh, no reason. Okay, so stop. It's annoying. 
Thanks. Uh-huh. Wow, she really is a bitch. Okay. It's okay, because we are down with all the guys. All the guys love Zoe. Charlie seems like a really nice guy. Hey, you're back. Surprised? You look like you could take care of yourself, so no, not really. Did you find your friend Jericho? His name's Reza. And no, not yet. But I have a lead. Good, I hope you find him. He seemed like a nice guy. You haven't heard from Reza again, have you? Sorry, girl. If he calls, I'll let you know. How long ago did you say you lived at the border house? Ten years. Why? It must have changed a lot. It was a horrible place. There was one room that looked okay, but the rest of it, ooh, just horrible. Ten years is a long time, girl. The world can change completely in a decade. Thank you, Charlie. For what? Listen. Feel free to hang out here for as long as you want. Maybe your friend will stop by again. Okay, so maybe I have to use the videograph with Charlie instead. Could you tell me anything about this picture? That's you, isn't it? Jesus Christ, where did you find this? At the hotel, room 201. I found it in the closet and I figured you'd know. I mean, that is you, right? Ten years and a lifetime ago. Yeah. I can't believe that graph would still be in April's old room after all this time. April? April Ryan. The girl in the middle. 201. That was her room ten years ago. Did... Did you say April Ryan? Yeah. Why? That name sounds very familiar. You probably got her mixed up with someone else. April vanished back in 09, just days before the collapse. We spent a long time searching for her before we... before I gave up. Emma, on the other hand, she never lost faith. She still thinks April's alive and out there somewhere. Emma's the other girl in the picture. Yeah. They were the two best friends I've ever had. But I haven't heard from Emma in years, and, and April... Let's just say that I don't share Emma's faith in miracles. How did April disappear? Look, I'm not comfortable talking about this. It's private stuff. But I've been told to help and save April Ryan. Hmm. Look, dude, I know it's hard, but I need you to fess up, man. I need to know, Charlie. I think there may be a connection between April Ryan and whatever Reza was investigating. What? Are you serious? This is gonna sound crazy. I can't even believe I'm telling you this, but... I've heard the name April Ryan recently. I've been seeing things. On screens. Back in Casablanca, at the hotel. Strange, creepy things. At first, I figured it had something to do with the static. That might still be the case, but I think there's more to it than that. There's this snowy landscape, a strange black house, a girl... I know it sounds completely insane, but the girl... She speaks to me, directly to me, through the screen. Find her, save her. At first that was all she said, and then... Find April Ryan. Find April, save April. When I was inside that place, the hotel, I saw the girl again. She pointed the way to April's room, to the closet where I found the picture. Jesus. If you're right, if this isn't some kind of sick joke, I need to contact Emma. She still believes April was telling the truth. The truth? About what? Can you stick around, Zoe? I'm sure Emma will hop on the first vac tracks or scramjet out of Europolis, and she'll want to hear this from you. Once she gets here, we'll tell you the whole story. I promise. Charlie, the April Ryan I've heard of might not be your April. I don't want you to get your hopes up. April disappeared under some very strange circumstances, Zoe. If there's even a tiny chance that this has anything to do with her, we need to pursue it. Okay. I have to wait here for this guy to contact me anyway. Marcus. I met him at the hotel. Marcus? 
this is starting to sound like a damn family reunion. Marcus was a friend of ours back in the old days, until he got into Amethyn in a big way. Haven't seen him in years either, but I heard he got a job at the, uh, the hotel. Yeah, he's some kind of caretaker. And you're right, it's not a hotel. I saw something while I was there. They're testing some kind of device that hooks up to your head. I've seen it once before. It's probably what brought Reza to Newport. Anyway, Marcus said he'd help me find out what happened to Reza, for a price. I told him to meet me here later. I hope that's okay. No problem. This is the safest place in Newport. Nothing gets in or out without me knowing about it. I'll make sure his name's put on the guest list. I'm gonna go call Emma, and then I need to take care of some business, but you can just hang out here. I'll have the kitchen make you something to eat. That would be nice. I'm starving. I haven't eaten since the train. You come to the right place. Our sashimi's the best in town. Find yourself a table and I'll have someone take your order. Thank you. Wait, Charlie? Yeah? You really think Rez is okay? He's an investigative reporter, isn't he? Jericho's famous. I'm sure he's been in worse scrapes. Don't worry, he'll be okay. Man, I don't know. You sound a little too confident. Oh, yeah, look, this, she's got a party face on. She's all happy now. Got people in here and everything. I can hear them all chattering away. This joint is bumping. Nice shades, dude. Looks like a Trekkie, though. And that's everything. I know it's not much, and I know it may not even be your April, Ryan, but... It is. It has to be. I don't believe in coincidences, and this would be one enormous coincidence. Well, she could be trying to get in touch with us, Charlie. Maybe she needs our help. Maybe... Don't get your hopes up, Emma. We don't know anything yet. I'm sorry to ask, but... Charlie, you promised you'd tell me what happened to April. Yeah. Yeah, I did. She disappeared under some very strange circumstances. The day she vanished, corporates were after her. I still don't know why. They stormed the house and... Emma got shot. She almost didn't make it. As for April... She made it out, and that was the last we heard from her. But we know she got away. She was identified on security cameras uptown, and we found out later that she had boarded a shuttle to one of the orbiting stations. That's where the cookie crumb trail ends, however. Right after that, the collapse happened, and everything changed. When things returned to normal, we were too busy putting our own lives back together. And by the time we started looking for her again... April was gone. Vanished. If it hadn't been for the things she'd told us, I would have simply believed that she was another victim of the collapse. What things? This is where it gets complicated. She spoke about another world, a sort of parallel magical dimension. We didn't believe... You didn't believe her, Charlie. I never doubted her. Fine. I didn't believe her. I'm still not sure I do, despite the things I saw during the collapse. Wait. April told you that she'd seen another dimension. Not seen. Been to. A place called Arcadia. There was this man. Cortez, a real weirdo. He told April that she had some kind of talent, power, to travel between worlds, and that she was needed. According to what April told us, there are two worlds. This one, and the other one. Arcadia. A world of magic. They exist in parallel, in balance with each other. I never had reason to doubt anything April said before, but even I was skeptical. So after I got out of the hospital, I started digging. And the things she told us, she's not the only one, Zoe. There are others who've traveled and seen Arcadia. It's real. Look, we don't know that. All we know is that some dangerous idiot put ideas into her head and... I know, Charlie. Have some faith, okay? I know. I can feel it. I've done a lot of research. When you have enough money, even the best-kept secrets are revealed to you. I'm sorry, Emma, but it does sound a bit... Crazy. Delusional. 
You don't think I've thought the same thing myself? How old were you when the collapse happened, Zoe? Nine, ten? Ten. And do you remember anything about it? Not really. We were living in London at the time, and our subsection was shut down for several days. My dad, he wanted to protect me. I didn't see much. Most people don't remember, or they pretend to have forgotten. Those of us who saw it, you don't forget something like that. But there were things happening even before the collapse, strange things, like like dreams leaking through into the waking world. Looking back, everything I've seen, read, what people have told me, people who had no reason to lie to me, I know she was telling the truth, and I believe she's still there. In Arcadia. Okay. Okay, so let's say you're right. The messages I've been getting. You think that winter place is the parallel world April talked about? Arcadia? From what I know, it doesn't sound like Arcadia. But who knows? The question is, who is the little girl, and why is she trying to contact you? After all, you didn't know April Ryan. Her name meant nothing to you until today. Chance brought you here, and if you hadn't found the picture and showed it to Charlie, you would never have recognized April's name. It seems improbable, I know, but Reza is the link. The story he's working on must have something to do with all of this. It's the only explanation I can think of. Your friend, the journalist, you still don't know where he is? No, but with any luck I might find out later tonight. Actually, Charlie, is there somewhere private where I can make a call? Maybe Reza's tried to contact me. I'm going to try his mobile again and check in with my friend Olivia back in Casablanca in case she's heard from him. Sure. You can use one of the private lounges upstairs. The last one on your left is empty. Thanks. I'll be right back. Ah, what a nice dude. Emma. Her full name is Emma de Frijo. I read an article about her a while back. She's a performance sculptor. Can I chat to these dudes? Who are you? Are you anyone? You don't look like anyone. Rude. What about the guys? Most of the people who come in here are so dull. Rich, powerful, beautiful. Dull. Hmm. Can I go to the bathroom? Scented. Vanilla and champagne. Nope. What about this hottie? Yo, hottie. You don't exist. You statue. Damn. We got animatronics in here. Hey, what do you think about me having access to the VIP lounge, eh? Hello? Yeah? Charlie said I could use one of the VIP rooms to make a call. Upstairs. There's an empty one all the way down on your left. Don't stay long. It's been reserved. And don't talk to the VIPs. Why? Because you're... not. Fucking bitch. I hate that bitch. Why do they put these people on reception? They have no manners. That's not good customer services. Don't you know anything? Alright, this must be my room. And I can use this place to make a phone call. Hi, this is Reza. I'm either busy or I'm sleeping. Either way, let me know what's up and I'll call you right back. Thanks. Hi, it's me again. I mean, I met Charlie and I followed your tracks to the hotel. I found your lighter and there was blood everywhere. I hope everything's okay, Reza. Please call me if you... when you get this message. I'm not about to give up on you, but I need to know that you're not... I need to know that you're okay. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey! You got yourself a VIP booth? Marcus! I was just about to... Convenient, because I brought some friends along and they'd love to say hello. In private. Uh-oh. Those bitches, they knocked my ass out last time. This isn't good. I thought things were going a little too well. What the hell are you injecting me with? Don't inject me with shit. That needle better be clean. Uh-oh! Not one of these things. Uh-oh. You 
put one of those machines on us. Sorry. That's my name. Oh my god, I'm naked. Where? Where am I? It doesn't feel like a dream. I should be freezing, but I don't feel cold at all. Actually, I don't feel anything. This all looks so familiar. The visions. This is the place from my visions. Man, that must be cold. I'll go out of the spooky house. Find out what's going down. Find her. Save her. You must find her. You must save her. I'm not gonna trust some glitching oh, out I kid. I don't understand. Please. What do you want with me? Find April Ryan. Hurry, Zoe, hurry! But what do... You must hurry! Go! Now! I must be tripping balls. Find April Ryan. Save her. Alright. If you say so. Let's do this. Hmm. Well, I'm still Zoe. Where? the hell am I? We ain't in Kansas no more. Okay, I don't know what they injected me with. Or what the machine does. Okay. This is not real. This cannot be real. I need to... to I need to wake up. Or get out of here. I need to do something. Anything. A pebble. I love that. Yunk. Sure that'll come in handy. Alright, so we're in Tripsville. Collecting pebbles. That's what it's all boiled down to. Hmm. Okay. Is he gonna kill me? Uh oh. Okay, this again. Come on then. Give it your best. Come on. Come on. That's right. Come and get some, man. Come on. You want some? You want some? They look big and scary, but they ain't shit. Hmm. One's fishing down there. I'm gonna leave him be for now. Did he come after me? I heard him grunt. I don't know if he's coming for me. It's okay, I can take him. Right. What the hell is this? What? Oh, stairs. I got steps. What's this? I would guess that wheel is used to control the machine.
It looks like a machine with a big wheel and a socket on top. I wonder what it does, and if it still works. Use a pebble. Nope. No, obviously that wasn't going to work, but it's worth a try. It's worth a try. Oh. It's broken. There's no way to climb up there. Hmm. Broken ladders. That was useful. Hmm. Wait a minute. Is here. If I'm not mistaken, the water wheel is connected to more gears. It could be what powered the city back when it was inhabited. Could be. There's a wooden platform up there. So we need to get the water wheel spinning. I would say. Oh, I do have a journal. How do I access it? Flash journal. I don't know. Do you know anything about this? They're little cowards, they just... Oh! Maybe, maybe you're not a coward, I'm sorry I said called you a coward. Okay, that's another one down. It's glowing like a torch, but there's no fire or heat. <gasps> maybe that activates the wheel. <gasps> Hells yeah, glowing egg. This is what we needed all along. Let's just check down here. Not in here. Mm. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. This is why I bought the ticket. Okay, so if we go down. Jump on here. Huh. Jump onto the platform. Try not to fall and die. Like that. Use the ladder. I sure hope that ladder leads out of this place. Only one way to find out. I 
it's a long way up, but I appreciate that little cut transition. It's dark. <gasps> have I got my lighter? No, I don't have any of my real world items. <gasps> okay. What about this glowy thing? Can I pick that up? Nope. Ah, oh, man. So maybe I need another one of those orbs. Because this might be like the room that was dark that we couldn't do anything in. Feels like the same kind of puzzle. So I gotta go all the way back. Are you serious? Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. I mean, it's worth trying, because that's a long way back. There's definitely nothing to interact with here. Pebble? No. Can't get over there. Oh, man, are you serious? <sighs> right, we need something to see with. Maybe another orb. Or maybe I need to get the orb from the waterfall. This is the only way to get back down there. Oh, that's convenient. Wow, they thought of everything. Let's try and get that all back. Or will it stop the wheel? No, it did not stop the wheel. <sighs> so all that just to get the orb. Right, now we should be able to do some shit. Ah. Those glowing symbols look like they're etched right into the rock. Um, okay, we've got to play a tune. Um, I remember something about this. It's, it's the, the thing, that orc thing, before I killed them, was humming. I'm sure that's right. So what about this one?
That sounded nice. That should have worked. Okay. I mean... This could take a while by just guessing. I'm gonna need to look this up. I don't want to go all the way back. So I remember this from the last time I played the game. You're supposed to play the same tune that those auger things hum. But I've killed the ogres now. And from memory, I mean, I thought it was that. Mm -hmm. Let me just try it one more, one last time. Oh, I didn't mean to do that one. Okay, I want to look it up. What was I saying? Da, 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 da. Right. Um, right, so what am I searching for right now? Safari... Mm. Right, dream fall longest symbols tune <laughs> Somebody spent one and a half hours trying to do it. Just give me the answer. Left, middle, left, right. Yeah, I wouldn't have got that on my own. A wooden wheel. What is this place? I must be dreaming. Well, it is called Dreamfall. It's locked from the outside. Oh, of course it is. It doesn't look very solid. Nice. That machine looks brand new. It definitely doesn't fit in with the rest of the stuff down here. <sighs> All this stuff. It's like something out of a fantasy role-playing game. <laughs> Who stores food like this? I don't think I'm in Newport anymore. And you're very judgmental, Zoe. Benrima, visitor. What are you on about, Bryn? She's standing right next to you. 
Um, hello? Oh, blessed be the sixth child you startled me. You speak English? Oh, thank God. Listen, I'm not sure what's hap- Speak what? Who are you? Where do you come from? Uh, I... I don't know. I think I'm... I'm dreaming. It's just that no matter what I do, I can't seem to wake up. Dream? This is no dream, child. Do you need me to pinch your arm? What? No. No, no that's... I'm... The twins, they did something to me. Something... How did you get in? We don't open until midday. Open what? The inn, child. What do you think? Are you soft-witted or... Rude. By balance, you are from... From the other side, aren't you? What? Gracious me. Another shifter. <laughs> Why do they always end up here? Another what? You must go see Minstrel Magda immediately. She will explain everything. Minstrel Magda? Leave now, but be cautious, and don't speak a word of this to anyone. They have ears everywhere. Uh, look, I don't know what's going on, and I don't know what a shifter is, or why I'm supposed to see this Magda person, and... I understand that you are frightened, child. You don't understand. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. I'm almost starting to think that those stories Charlie told me about April Ryan are true. Did you say April Ryan? Yeah. Do you know her? No, I don't recognize the name. You need to see Minstrel Magda, child. <sighs> I guess I don't have a choice, dream or no dream. Where can I find her? She moves around, but Blind Bob ought to know where she is. He's right outside. You can't miss him. Blind Bob, Minstrel Magda, underground cities and strange monsters. I feel like I'm inside some kind of fairy tale. All right. I'll go talk to, um, Blind Bob. Thank you. What's your name? Benrima Salmon, child. I'm the innkeeper of the Journeyman Inn. If you ever need anything, come see me. I'll help you the best I can. I'm Zoe, and thank you. I'm sure I will see you again. You're the only person I know in this... this place. She definitely knows it for Ryan. You fool me. Where'd that guy go? You just sat there a second ago. He's vanished. Jesus. I don't know any of these titles. A Bestry of the Southlands. Okay, I don't want to know any of these titles. <sighs> ay, 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 ay. Okay. So we've got to find this Minstrum Magda. Speak to Blind Bob. Arms, arms for a poor old blind bastard. Ben Rime said I would find this blind Bob guy right outside. Could that be him? He looks blind. Arms for a poor old blind bastard with no home no hearth. I'm so sorry, I don't have any money. Ah, well, I'll let you in on a secret, Rose Petal. Blind Bob's happy you don't have no home no hearth. Had those, hated them, left to begin a career in beggaring. Now a pauper's life is a king's life. Freedom, fresh air, no strings, no stress, no bleeding taxes. Aren't you cold? You think, but no. Had a bit of an accident with a fire charm when I was a wee lad. Left me permanently temperate. It's actually quite pleasant. But what about that whole being blind thing? That can't be good. Oh, that. It's theoretical. Theoretical? I could have been blind. Had an accident with a chemical spell when I was a wee lad. Near burned me eyes out. But it didn't. No, no, not at all. Miss Blind Bob's face by a mile. Could have burned me eyes out, mind you. Could very well have. So I'm theoretically blind. 
Of course, theoretically Blind Bob is no proper name for a beggar. So I just use Blind Bob nowadays. That's me, that is. Uh, okay. Hello. Can I ask you a question? You can ask. I might answer, I might not. Fair enough. I'm looking for someone. The innkeeper said you might know. Her name is... Hold it right there, Rose Petal. Tit for tat. Them's the rules. What do you mean? If you want Blind Bob to do you a favour, you do him one first. Fair enough. What do you want? Just so you know, I don't have any money. Well, Rose Petal, you seem to be cosy with old Ben Remahay in there. Ha! Now she makes a robust mulled wine. Just the thing for a cold winter's morning. But Ben Remahay, she don't take well to blowing Bob sitting on her doorstep. And she don't willingly part with her wares without recompense of sorts. You want mulled wine? Oh, a bottle would do nicely, Rose Petal. Mind, it's the good stuff now, made with Mrs. Mullins' mixed spices. Mulled wine made with Mrs. Mullins' mixed spices. Fine, I'll see what I can do. Oh, thanks, Petal. You've made a theoretically blind man happy. So cold, so hungry, so blind. Arms! Okay, so... He wants mulled wine. Theoretically blind Bob. Guess we're going to see Ben Rima again. At least the backtracking ain't too far now. Oi, I need some mulled wine. It's Ben Rime, the innkeeper. Um, hello? Yes? Oh, it's you. What can I do for you, child? I spoke with Blind Bob, but he wouldn't tell me anything. Ah, yes. Tit for tat. Given a chance to bargain, Blind Bob will take it. What does he want now? Mulled wine. He wants mulled wine made with, um, Mrs. something or other spice mix. Mrs. Mullins mixed spices. For a beggar, Blind Bob is quite particular. I don't know what to do. If I can't find Minstrel Magda, I can't get home. If I can't get home... Calm down, child. I will help the best I can. I have red wine and I can heat it up for you, but I'm all out of spices. I was supposed to receive a delivery this morning, but no one has been by yet, and I cannot leave the inn to get them myself. Maybe I could pick up the spices for you. You could. I buy my spices from a merchant at the Southgate Market. His is the first stall on the left when you walk down Irede Avenue. Just tell him Ben Rime sent you to pick up her order of Mrs. Mullins' mixed spices. And be sure to mention that I'm not happy he did not make his delivery as scheduled. I will put some wine on the boil while you are away. Thank you so much. You're welcome, child. Run along now. Wait, how do I get to the market? The quickest way would be through Old Town, but they've closed it off this morning. You'll have to go the long way around. Walk east, towards the tower. When you get to the tower square, go south. That will take you on to Irede Avenue, which leads all the way down to the south gate. East, then south. Okay, thank you. Wait a minute, I've got more questions. Hello? What? How come everyone speaks English here? English? No, child. We speak all tongue, as do you. All what? All tongue. Now then, it is the common tongue of our world. But we're speaking English now, right? No. Now then is a magical tongue. It is learned quickly by those who know how to listen. Really? So, what? I can speak a magical language? That's incredible. Incredible? No, it is quite ordinary, child. I have so many questions about this place. I don't even know where to start. You should start with Minstrel Magda, like I told you, child. Okay, I will. How do I get to the Southgate Market again? Turn left outside the door. Follow Burrow Crook East until you get to the Tower Square, then head south through the main gates. After that, 
You'll only need to follow Irene Avenue until you reach the South Gate. Got it. Thanks. Okay, now I just gotta remember that. Left and follow it down. So I'm speaking magical languages. Wow. Don't mind me, good sir, madam. I'm just a poor old Here's an annoying old fool. Trying to get drunk off a young innocent traveller like myself. You should be ashamed. And it ain't gonna help your blindness. Theoretical blindness. Oh dear. Oh dear. What the hell is that? Hmm, looks like something off of Star Wars. Alright, let's see what this dude's doing. He must be selling something, but I can't tell what it's supposed to be. Hello. Hello, hello! Ha, what a wonderful morning we're having. How may I be of service today, young lady? The innkeeper at the journeyman sent me to pick up an order of Mrs. Mullins' mixed spices. It's for... Mulled wine! Yes! Oh, Ben Rime boils the best cauldron in town, she does. Absolutely wonderful! I'll have them sent right up. Fantastic. Next! Hold on. Ben Rime needs the spices right now. You can just give them to me and I'll deliver them for you. Why, yes. Yes, I could give the spices to you. What a wonderful idea. Saves me from having to deliver them, doesn't it? Fantastic. No problem. None at all. Except... Except what? There's a tiny... Tiny problem. Nothing major. Nothing that can't be solved. Why, it's, it's barely worth mentioning. You see, the thing is, I don't actually have any spices at all this morning. I see. Isn't this the spice store? Ben Rime told me to go to the spice store. Well, then you've certainly come to the right place. I sell spices and little else. In fact, I'm the exclusive distributor of Mrs. Mullins in Mercuria. Best spice mixers in the Northlands. Or any lands. It's just that, well, my delivery is a, a tiny bit delayed this morning. Really? How delayed? Oh, I'm sure it'll be here any... Quite a bit, to be honest with you. Quite a bit. For crying out loud, dude. Is there someone else I can go? Hmm, what do you mean by quite a bit? How delayed is quite a bit? I'm sure it won't take more than a, a few hours. Excuse me? A few hours, at most. Before lunchtime, I'm sure. Or by tea time. If he's not here by dinner time, I'll eat my left shoe. I really do need those spices. Like, now. I wish I could be of more help, young lady. But as long as the ghetto's closed, the carriages are stuck in Burrow Crook. The ghetto? Oh, you're an out-of-towner. Welcome to Mercuria, etc., etc. Wonderful, wonderful. So what about the ghetto? Right. Well, the Azadi have set aside a section of Old Town for the Magicals. That way they can be with their own. We don't bother them, they don't bother us. Fantastic, wonderful. Why can't the carriages come through? Well, once in a while the Azadi help the Magicals weed out... undesirables. They close the ghetto down, search the buildings for criminals and contraband. Sort of spring cleaning, if you will. And your supplier is stuck in... what? Traffic? On the other side of the ghetto, up Burrow Crook, towards Coalstone Gate. Why, right below the journeyman. I just came from there. Right. So you... Wait, 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 wait! 
Why don't we help each other out, eh? If you pick up my delivery of Mrs. Mullen's mixed spices, our specialty, and bring them back here, I can give you Ben Rime's order. Yeah, uh, well, I guess I don't really have a choice. I guess it beats waiting around. Fantastic! You'll want to speak with Harry Kinron. He's a bearded fellow, a tad ornery, but a decent fellow at heart. He'll be up Burrow Crook, right below the Journeyman Inn. You can't miss him. Ask him for Mrs. Mullen's mixed spices. He'll try and get some money from you, but the order's been paid for already. Guy with a beard, wagons, burrow crook. Okay, I'll try my best. Come right back here with the spices, and I'll give you Ben Rime's order. Wonderful. Fantastic. Okay. Right, let's see. So I gotta go, actually, I feel like there might be a shortcut. But it's not down here. Maybe not. Well, I know we can go this way. So I gotta get these spices so I can make the mulled wine to give to Blind Bob to find Minstrel Magda. And this is how. What are we doing with this one? He was caught inside the ghetto, selling medicine to the Magicals. You know what that is, don't you? Treason. Treason against the Empire. And Sadir that have your head off. In a second. Any humans who get involved with the Magicals are traitors to their race. That might not warrant an appointment with the Blade here in this godlessless city, but we'll find a way to get you shipped off to Sadir. Move it! Hmm... So yeah, this is how quest lines evolve. Nah, this is just so it's such an adventure game and it's all in 3D. It's a shame there's so few of these damn things. Don't mind me, good sir, madam. I'm just a poor old blind bastard with nowhere to go and nothing to eat. That looks like the guy the spice merchant described, the one with the spices. The traffic appears to be backed up. No one's getting through. May the six grant me strength. As if this morning hasn't been trying enough. Now what do you want, girl? I... On second thought, don't tell me. I'm not in the mood for idle chatter. But I... Magicals? <laughs> Damned ghetto rats. And those rebels? More like terrorists, if you ask me. Not a day goes by without them troublemakers making trouble for the rest of us. They should stick them on a boat and send them out to sea so as they don't bother honest humans trying to make an honest living. Call themselves freedom fighters, the terrorists do. But it's because of them that I'm stuck here. Again! <laughs> Freedom? Ha! Freedom for who? From what? It's not like the Azadi are keeping us imprisoned. In fact, life's a damn sight better than it was before they came. If this is oppression, I don't want to be liberated. Listen, I... Ye gods. I mean, goddess. There's only one. Blessed be her name, etc. You are so annoying. Listen to me. I just spoke with the spice merchant at the Southgate Market. You'll have to wait until we reopen the ghetto, just like everyone else. Well, he sent me to pick up a delivery of, um, Mrs. Mullins' mixed spices. What? No, that's, um, all right. It's irregular, but I reckon I can part with it for a fair price. He said it's been paid for already, and that you'd probably try to weasel more money out of me. For the love of... I'll just tell him we'll sort it out when I get down there. Mind you, it could take a while. Doesn't look like they're reopening the ghetto any time soon. I'm sorry, but he said he needs the spices right away. He's out of stock. I keep hearing this buzzing sound in my ear, but I don't see any black flies around. Only you. You can ignore me all you want, but I'm not leaving. 
If you think you're having a bad day, you should try mine on for size. By the Mojals. I mean, by the grace of the six blessed be the names. If you leave me be, I'll give you the bloody spices. And now, for the love of the goddess and for the sake of my sanity, let me be miserable in peace. Absolutely. Won't bother you again. Thank you. Wow, it's like the two grumpiest people in all of video game worlds. The thing is, right, this is apparently blocked and he can't get his delivery. But if he goes down here, where we've just come from, these roads are pretty wide, unless this is like one where, I don't know. There's a cart there. Arms, arms for a poor old I'm going to give these game developers the benefit of the doubt and assume that these roads are not accessible by horse and cart. Or whatever those creatures are. But, uh, yeah, otherwise it doesn't really make much sense because all you got to do, dude, is go all the way down here. You miserable piece of shit. Drive all the way down here. Wait a minute, why am I giving the spices back to the market guy? Don't I just... I've got the spices now, don't I just give them to Ben Rima? Mrs. Mullins's mixed spices. Um... That's a good point. Do I give them to the market guy or do I just... I'll give them to the market guy, I'll be honest. I'll be an honest... traveller. He'd better not scam me. Hey, I got your spices. That's wonderful. Fantastic. What spices? Oh, for crying out. You asked me to pick up your spices, remember? Yes, yes. Ah, yes, I remember. Mrs. Mullen's spices. Oh, goodness me. Thank you, young lady. How indescribably wonderful. You're welcome. Now, about Ben Remay's order? Hmm? Uh, who? Uh, ben Rime. Oh, yes. One pouch of Mrs. Mullen's mixed spices for the best mulled wine in Mercuria. Thank you. Fantastic. Wonderful. Enjoy your day, young lady, and do come back. I mean, yeah, really. Thinking about it, if I wanted to, I could have just used his entire order of spices. Hmm... The game probably would have let me do that as well. I mean, what's impressive about this game is it does give you more than one way to do things. It's only got a single quest line and you can't do things out of order that the game tells you to. It's got its... I mean, it's got its little niggly things, but... Considering how old it is, and it was the first of its kind, I think... I just love it. I really do have a special spot. For, for this game. And it's a so sequel. Cold, so hungry, so blind. I wish you'd shut the frick up. You really annoy me. I'm getting you mulled wine now, you piece of garbage. Hi, it's me again. I'm not blind, child. What do you want? You know what I want. Give me those goddamn... I should top in room with that glass Yeah, make me some goddamn mulled wine so I can give it to that stupid blind fool outside so I can find this woman and get on with my adventure. It wasn't easy, but I got the spices. It took you long enough, child. Did you get lost? No, but I had to do a lot of running around. It doesn't matter. I have the spices now. Good. There's a pot of red wine in the kitchen. Mix the spices in, let it boil for a while, and you have mulled wine. Thank you so much. I appreciate all your help. Well, you look like you need all the help I can give you, child. You mean I gotta make this goddamn thing myself? What the hell? <sighs> Seriously. It's an empty wine bottle. Yoink. Mix the spices with the wine bottle. No. Are you kidding me? What about this? There's red wine boiling in that cauldron. Okay, add the spices to the cauldron. Wow, she makes the best wine ever. And then... 
She's letting me do this. Can't be that hard. And I have mulled wine at long last. It smells really good. I'm sure it does. I'm sure he'll be very happy with his mulled wine. The old fool. Don't mind me, good sir, madam. I'm just Here. a poor old blind mulled wine bastard with nowhere with to go Mullins and nothing to spices. eat. Ah, the sweet scent of Mrs. Mullins and Riverwood Red. Give it here, Pattle. Let me take a swig. You don't deserve it. Ah, by the balance that hit the spot it did. Ah, I'm most grateful, Petal. You've earned yourself a silver star in Blind Bob's book. Glad you liked it. It wasn't easy getting it. Without the journey, the reward is na half a sweet. That's, uh, what's her name? Uh, old chestnut round these parts. Still as true as the sky is green. Green? I had an accident with a chroma charm when I was a wee lad. Every morning Blind Bob wakes up, the sky's a different colour. Today it's green. Okay, you strange man. Theoretically Blind Bob. So you're going to tell me where I need to go or what? Hi there. Arms for a poor. Oh, ha, it's ye. What tidings of joy do you bring me this time? Do you know where I can find Minstrum Magda? Oh, he knows her, Blind Bob does. He knows her well. Nice lady. Best sort not soup south of lame bastard hill. Do you know where she is today? Oh, she moves around, Magda does. Ain't seen her round here in a while. You might try asking someone other than Blind Bob. Like who? I don't know anyone in the city. Well, you might have more luck asking Crazy Clara. Lives up Crab Bend, Clara does, on Hangman Span. In view of Friar's Keep. Crazy as a turnip, Clara is. But she's also got a scout wing's eyes. She knows more than she lets on. Where can I find this crazy Clara again? You can usually find her on Hangman Span. That's up Crab Bend east of Southgate. Towards Friar's Keep, the prison. Thank you, Mr. Bob. Oh, just call me theoretically. We're friends now, ye and I. Hmm. Make a donation to the welfare. I wouldn't go that far, to be perfectly honest. Wow, he's a very um interesting character just walking past. So, not quite sure where this place is. It's an impressive structure. Is there anything down here? Ah, this way. Nope. Absolutely nothing. Now, I don't think I want to be in that building. I don't think those guards would let me in even if I wanted to. Yo, dude, what's going down? These guards really stick out. You can tell they're not from around here. The tower's where the emissary holds office. She runs the Azadi administration here in the Northlands. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the info. Yeah, thanks to me. Spices! We've got spices! Get your Mrs. Mullins here! Ah, controls. That must be Clara. She certainly looks the part. Hi there. Are you crazy? Um, are you Clara by any chance? <laughs> You've been a bad girl, Clara. You'll have to be punished. My baby, my baby. Gone, gone, gone. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's mention good old Blind Bob. I'm a friend of Blind Bob's. You know, theoretically. Near burn me eyes out, wee lad. Where's me back? My baby. Blind Bob's your baby? Pretty thing, so pretty, my flower, but she has to be punished. All gone. All gone. I think Bob's still up by the journeyman, but uh, you're not talking about him, are you? Baby, my baby, my baby. So you lost something? Or someone? My baby. Yes, that part I got. Your baby. Is it a child? A pet? Westerlings caught him in a net. Just like a butterfly. That's illegal, that is. Can't have that now, can we? Boxed him right up. We'll take care of him, put him to sleep for you. Pretty thing. Poor thing. My baby. So it is your pet. A dog? Cat? I'm guessing there are stranger pets in this world. No stranger. Best friend. You'll never have friends. You've been bad. No, please no. My friend. You said the Westerlings took him. Who are the Westerlings? The ghetto's clothes. Stand back. What's that you've got there, eh? Give us that thing right now. The soldiers took him. What did they do with him? We'll take care of him, we will. Gone. But close. So close. I still hear him, my baby. I still hear him crying. Do you want me to help you find your baby? Find baby? Yes, if I can. I'll try. Do you know where he is? Caged up like the twinkles in a diamond. He was coming home to Mammy. Home. Never again. Never. Never. Don't say that. We'll find him, okay? I know where he is. Well, she's definitely a couple of sandwiches short of a picnic, so I can see how she earned her name, Crazy Clara. Hmm. Maybe she'll, um, be fine when she gets her pet back. Get your fish, fresh from the ocean. Hey, you can't go in there. Yes, I can, because you can't see me. That must be Crazy Clara's pet. It's really cute. You've got an interesting walk, sir. Very interesting. Alright, I've got your damn pet back. Are you going to finally help me or what? Because i got to finish the stream soon because I have other plans. That's really sweet. I feel all warm and tingly inside. I see you got your baby back. Safe now. We are happy. So, so happy. I'm glad. Look, I'm trying to find Minstrel Magda. Do you know where she is? Magda? Where is Magda? That's what I need to know. Please, could you try and focus for a second? I really need to find Minstrel Magda. Cup of soup, Clara? Says the soup lady. Oh, yes, please. Right you are, then. Mmm, salt nut soup, our favourite. What do you mean? Oh, soup lady, as in soup kitchen. She runs a soup kitchen. Soup. Soup for the poor and homeless. Warm and thick with peas and carrots in it. And not only peas and carrots, but dubious lumps, too. Where is Magda's soup kitchen? I go down there every morning to have my soup. I do. She's nice, she is. The soup lady. You ask her nicely, I'm sure she'll give you a cup, too. Down where? 
the market. We're just down the street, Clara, at the Southgate Market from sunrise till midday every day. You come by any time, you hear? That's right. The soup kitchen. I pass right by it. Thanks, Clara. Take good care of your baby, OK? He's a beautiful pet. Wave goodbye now. Wave goodbye, little one. Okay, so at first I thought she was talking about Ben Rime, but now I'm thinking maybe it's one of the stalls in the market. But I think I need to end the stream because I do have a visitor in about half an hour and I need to take a shower and get sorted for that. So I'm also streaming later, so thanks for watching. I will be streaming um, at 7 p.m., Warframe with Sleepy's time. Um, so do feel free to join me for that one. And of course, if you're watching on YouTube or you're following this game, I will be doing part three really soon. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Bye.